This is Professor Hammond and I'm just going to give you guys another quick tutorial on what I found to be the best way to submit your video review. So if, in your, if you are in your Cornerstone University email, the best thing for you to do would be to scroll over to this little grid over on the right hand side. If you click on that grid, you see all of your different things that you can click on. Go down to the more and you'll see YouTube. This is our Cornerstone uh, YouTube channel, so this would not go on to your personal, if you have your own YouTube channel, this is a personal, this is Cornerstone's version. So if you click on YouTube from there, you will ta be taken to the YouTube channel that is connected to your Cornerstone account, and this is an education related one, so it's a little bit different. Um, if you click sign in, that should take you right into where your um, your corner connected to your Cornerstone email, and then uh, you would simply click on upload, and then you can either select the file that you want to upload or drag or drop it into that file. So once you um, submit your file to here, it'll take a second to process. Uh, when you go to your channel. This is my particular channel. You can actually go down, and this is my uh, review down here. So if I click on the video, and I'll pause myself, uh, down towards the bottom, you see an option to share. If you open that uh, box up, you'll see a link. So if you share that link, you just do a, a copy and paste right into the Moodle Dropbox that is associated with this. So if I do a copy there, I can actually go back into my uh, Moodle and I can upload that link right into the Dropbox. So if I'm going to go into my courses, and mine is going to show a little bit of extra information but if I go down into the Dropbox for the video review, um, yours will look a little bit different, but this is where you would submit your link here, uh, whether this is in Section 1 or Section 2, a little bit the same. So you can take that link and just submit the link instead of trying to upload the video because those documents, those videos can be kind of large. Um, if you are not able to access the Cornerstone YouTube, um, let me know. We'll find another way to do that, either through Google Drive or a, a Dropbox or something. But if you're able to, um, try this upload function with YouTube, uh, with your Cornerstone YouTube, and we'll go from there. If you have any questions, once again, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week.